watching the Fox 25 Primetime News at 9. For the past year, Fox 25 has been investigating a serious concern brought to us by a viewer worried about the health of people in one small Oklahoma community. Our investigation took us across the country looking for answers. And what Fox 25's Phil Cross discovered might have you thinking twice about the water you drink. Phil joins us now with an investigation you'll see only on Fox. Guys, there's a chemical in the water in thousands of households across central Oklahoma. It's odorless, tasteless, but potentially toxic. And only now are scientists really learning about its potential to cause health problems if you drink it. If one thing in particular defined me in high school, it was track. I loved to run. It was my release. For Amy Jarvis, running was how she dealt with life. But shortly after graduating from Noble High School, life threw something at her she couldn't run from. They told me that I had bone cancer. Osteosarcoma. Only about 800 people a year get it in the U.S. The night before I went and had the surgery um, done for my leg, I ran a mile. Amy thought she was just unlucky until she found out that same rare cancer had hit again and again in Noble. A friend of mine that uh, I went to school with, Carrie, um, she was, she called me, um, I remember that phone call and she tells me that she, she has been diagnosed with osteosarcoma and uh, her and I had been roommates um, just maybe a few years before that. Soon reunions of Noble's class of 1988 became full of stories of people in the small town who had cancer. Why are so many um, being diagnosed and then it all came back to, you know, well, remember when we were in high school and they told us about the water. Noble's water currently meets all health standards, but it's drawn almost exclusively from the Garber Wellington Aquifer, an underground water source that is spread beneath much of central Oklahoma and known to be high in heavy metals. A review of thousands of pages of water records from Noble revealed this document created in the mid 80s, showing the town had to shut down water wells due to unsafe levels of naturally occurring uranium. But beyond uranium, the aquifer is also rich in other metallic elements like arsenic, selenium, and chromium. Hexavalent chromium can be very harmful. So it kills people. Oh, yeah. Many people remember chromium because of Hollywood. The story of Aaron Brockovich in Hinkley, California, a town polluted by a form of chromium known as chromium-6 or hexavalent chromium. Just after dark in Hinkley wasn't always such a lonely time. Then the contamination happened, people started to die, others moved away. The school closed not long ago, and the rest of the town is slowly starting to disappear. Fox 25 traveled to San Francisco to meet with Renee Sharp, research director for the Environmental Working Group, or EWG. There is a lot of hex chrome around the country, um, and, and Oklahoma seems to have some of the highest levels. After an EWG study citing chromium contamination in central Oklahoma, Noble did testing. We found the result in city water records showing Noble water with 12.1 parts per billion of hex chrome. The state of California set a public health goal for hexavalent chromium at 0.02 parts per billion. Now that goal is if cost were no object, the best case scenario. Now consider this though, in Oklahoma, some of the hexavalent chromium levels are nearly 600 times the California public health goal. At this point, we don't really have um, a concrete uh, health effects data. The Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality says the state's research is limited. We have not seen anything from the health department that indicates an illness cluster uh, related to any uh, waterborne issue. The state health numbers on cancer rates in Cleveland County, the area with the highest concentrations of metals, are not out of step with national rates. But those numbers don't include bone cancers. Other research, including a report by the EPA, shows chromium can collect in bones. Some reports link it directly to bone cancer, like Amy's. And even though California says hex chrome is dangerous, Oklahoma says it simply can't do the same research. We don't have the manpower to do it. We don't have the uh, research facilities to do it. And we certainly don't have the millions and millions of dollars that it takes to do a study like that. While the scientists, advocates, and political leaders all work to find a solution, the fact remains there is something in the water in Noble 
and more and more research points to the fact it may not be safe. We're in the 21st century and we're still drinking water that could be, you know, poisoning our children, um, poisoning our elders. Um, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. Now this investigation is by no means a complete look at the issues surrounding drinking water or chromium. Tomorrow night we're going to be exploring more of these issues in depth during a half hour special report. In the meantime, if you have concerns about your drinking water, our website is going to be a great resource for you. We'll have this story up along with links to scientific studies from a variety of source and a link to the DEQ's, uh, DEQ's database and instructions on how you can find out what chemicals are in your community's drinking water. All of that will be on OKCFox.com. Reporting live in the studio, Phil Cross, Fox 25 News.